Mm. Mm. I'd rather just wait till uniform when he comes back. That's tomorrow. What are the coordinates of the sine graph? Sine. Those are the y's, but I need the x's too. Zero, zero. <coughs> Pi on two. Pi. Three pi on two. Two pi. What are we going to do for the inverse? Switch it. Zero, zero becomes? Pi on two, one becomes? Pi zero becomes? Three pi on two, negative one? Someone grab the door. Thank you. Good question. What took you so long? Take the stairs. Now, these are our normal trig axes. I would not use these. And the book will give it to you like this. I would not use them. I would redraw my own. I'll show you in a second why I would redraw my own. No, I like to redraw it. I'm going to draw a long y-axis, but I'm going to do a fairly short x-axis. Why am I suddenly now flipping that? Because we flip the coordinates. So I don't need this long axis, but what I do need is negative 1 and 1. Then instead of having my short axis, I want my long axis. So I'm going to put my 2 pi, or pi on 2, pi, 3 pi on 2, 2 pi. Why? You can do it on this guy, but then the problem is you have to figure out is where is 1 in relation to pi on 2? Where is 3.14 in relation to that? I just don't like it. I redraw it. So just going in order, 0, 0 is still going to be the origin. 1 pi on 2 is 1 over and pi on 2 up. 0 pi is just on the y-axis at pi. Negative 1, 3 pi on 2 is 1 to the left and up to 3 pi on 2. And then 0, 2 pi is right on the axis. And here's our first inverse. Now does it make sense why I draw the axes like this? Again, you can do it on this one. This is just harder because then you've got to figure out decimal values. I don't like it. I just flip them. Now you have a picture of what inverse sine looks like. When do you see inverse sine? When have we used that before? Since grade 10? Yes, whenever you're solving a trig function, right, and we're using our calculator, we inverse sine. That's what it looks like. That's what you're doing. It's the letter S. It is kind of like a letter S. But what about that blank part of the graph then? Oh, it could keep going down here. We just don't need to because that's just the negative side. But we know it goes on forever. What's the domain of this graph? Well, the range, and just remember, even though it stops here, right, there's arrows on both ends. We know that it keeps going over and over. So the range is y, e, r. I've come with an easy way to remember the shape. Yes. Okay. Let's see. It looks like a letter S and sign, which it is the inverse of, begins with the letter S. But what's going to happen when we go and do cos? Oh. <laughs> then that's going to fall over. Well, we'll see. Maybe there's a C shape. We'll see. We'll see. So again, the book will give you axes like these. If you want to use them, you can use them. The problem is you've got to do the negative side, and you've got to do decimal values. I just don't like that. If, so, if cos doesn't look like an S, then we're 
let's see them remember this. How about we look at it first, then we decide? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Sign looks like guess. Sign looks like guess. Sign looks like guess. Like 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 okay, give me the values for the regular coast graph. So zero. One, pi on two, negative zero. Killing me, Andrew. Pi. Three pi on two, negative zero again. And two pi. One. Flip them, and again, you don't need to write out the coordinates. If you can just graph them, then do that. Totally up to you. Do you want me to show you one on the normal axes, or are you okay with me redrawing the axes? The norm, how to use the normal. You want to do the normal? How to use the normal axes. Okay, so I've got to figure out roughly there's negative pi on 2. I know this is 1.57, and I know this is 3.14. And so this has to be negative 1.57. And so to do 1, 0, I've got to estimate where is 1 in here. How can I estimate where 1 is if this is 1.57? <laughs> well, give me rough, roughly. Absolutely. But no, no, you asked for it. We're finishing it. So if this is 1.57, I don't know, one's about there. So 1, 0, so 1 over, no units up or down. 0 pi on 2, negative 1 pi, 0, 3 pi on 2, and 1, 2 pi. Oh, it kind of looks like a C. I did miss the dot. Still, I can kind of see a C. And then this last one again, it's supposed to be in unit four, so just pretend I didn't put it there. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. You don't see it. Questions? Oh, domain and range. Kate, write it down. Is it supposed